Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hi, I'm Lisa Ackberry, your hair doctor, and I am really excited. You know what? Let's see. I don't think I got the book. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull both of my books down. Let's see. Okay. Now, we just finished The Black Woman's Guide to Beautiful Hair. Yay! Um, wow. I, on the oof, conclusion page, I've got stuff all in here. But right at the conclusion page, where my little mark is, you probably can see it. This is July 19th, 20, uh, 2012. It's actually when we ended the book. The book. This was our cyber reading, and I absolutely love it. I just want to say in my conclusion, once you have come up with a wonderful regimen for your hair, learn to love your hair, um, just realizing that your thoughts about your hair, especially those of us who've been around a little while, more than 20 years, I'll be at that, <laughs> we tend to think about our hair in a little bit different way. We think, okay, they have great hair, we have this hair. Sometimes that good hair, bad hair thing kind of gets in there. Even though we we we're, we don't want to say it, and I don't know, my eye is dripping. You know that happens sometimes. Even though we don't want to believe that we think like that, but really, and I'm when I say they have better hair, I'm thinking of whether it's someone in your family that you believe have has um, a wavier, a medium degree of kinkiness, or whether you believe it's someone who is of a different race who has hair that's I don't know, it's a lot. But whatever you believe, you just gotta understand that God made your hair, as I said, and God makes no mistakes and. Your hair is uniquely made. Your follicle is uniquely made and is suited to fit you. Embrace your hair. Love your hair. Can you alter your hair? Yes, you can. But you don't need to alter it unless you really get to know and understand. There is a fierce movement as it relates to women of color with natural kinky hair movement toward that are going back to our hair. Some call it going back to our roots. Um, my thing for that is it's great. Yes. Embrace your hair. I love my hair. I understand that many of us are running or many of you are running from relaxers. I know that. Relaxer was like a drug that you're finally free of. And but you find yourself running as if you're running from something that was abusing you and you're in the middle of the street and you don't know where to go. Well, I I found out I have over a hundred YouTube videos. I just gotta do them, but someone emailed me and said that that's wow. Um look at my videos. There are others out there who have videos. Um there's so much available for you now. Join my group, the Kinky Hair Group. Go on LisaAckbeer.com and I'll keep you informed in everything that I'm doing. I'm going to do a tour in 2013. Let me know if you want me to come to your city. And I know some of you, Chicago, Atlanta, Los Angeles, you've already asked. You're on the list. But let me know if you want me to come to your city. And a women's group. All I want you to do is bring me in. In other words... Tell me that you have a hundred women or you have fifty women who really want me to come or more. Of course, we we mostly will speak to very large groups, but that's okay. I'll speak to almost any size. Just email me and we'll work it out. Um, I want to come out there, give you a hug, but also just be with you and just. Um, just really, I feel like I want to say minister to you about your hair because really, God made your hair and God makes no mistakes. So often, we run away from things, but we don't know really how to protect and preserve. And that's what we're doing with our hair. And so we, we have to find home. We have to find our home with our hair. 
and that means we have to take care of our hair before we alter it. That's whether we choose a certain style, and we have to understand, or we use a uh, color. For example, there are many, many women wearing color who have uh, kinky hair. Well, it's no longer natural if you're wearing a permanent color, and that's okay. But we don't want our movement to move from naturally relaxed, um, excuse me, from relaxed hair to our natural hair to permanent color and then have damage from that. So we just need to really learn how to protect and preserve. I love you and I'm, I'm there for you. We're going to start our new book, um, Every Woman's Guide to Beautiful Hair at Any Age. And it talks about alopecia and it just talks about how our strand ages. I mean, we know as a black woman, we have this beautiful, wonderful, coral hair, spiral hair. But we, this book talks a lot about how our hair will age because of the way we treat it. Texture changes. I get a little bit more into that, into that uh, external and internal follicular alopecia. I'm just going to kind of read some of the, the chapters that I have. But we're not going to start it today. I'm going to spend a few weeks just answering questions because I got tons of them. It's like the first chapter in this book says, what happened, what's happening to my hair? It's like, okay, I've got this beautiful hair, so what is really happening to it? How does aging affect our hair? How does getting older, we have so many myths on that. And the next, next chapter says, how do I create a foundation for healthy hair growth? I mean, so many people talk about supplements, and they talk about eating better, and I think all of that's important. So we want to talk about the external, what you can do externally, and then what you can do with internally. How can you have that hair become what you're eating? It's healthy food, healthy hair, healthy hair growth. How does my hair grow, and why do I lose hair? What's the process of hair growth? And you've heard about the follicle and the growth phases and stages, but how does this really, really process? And how and why do I lose hair? I, how do how do my scalp strands? Oops, I fixed my book. I can't read it. <laughs> how do my scalp strands become dehydrated? What causes dehydration of the scalp and hair? What can I do about hair loss and thinning? Hmm. When, will trimming make my hair grow faster? That's a good chapter. How can I get a younger scalp? Important. We're always asking about a younger face, but we never ask about a younger scalp. And it's important. Can, oh, can I and should I add hair? Hmm. That's a biggie. We protective styles, braids. Can you do it? Should you do it? What happens if you do it? How can I protect my hair when exercising? A lot of women are working out and they have major problems with protecting their hair. We're going to talk about that in the book. And the last few chapters, what can I do about gray hair? Ooh, biggie! <laughs> Our little friends come. You know, they're invited. Well, we're going to talk about what to do about it. What do I need to know about hair color? As I said earlier, you know, we color our hair and hmm, we just don't know. We think, okay, I'm natural. And you have blonde hair or you have red hair or you have this um, color, brown hair. How did you do it? If, if you colored it and you remove color pigments from your dark hair, you're no longer natural. We need to talk about it. It's okay. We just need to talk about how to protect and preserve. And the last chapter... What if I went to straighten or curl my hair? Heat. We're going to talk about heat. You know we always got to talk about that. But anyway, that's my next book, Every Woman's Guide to Beautiful Hair at Any Age. Now, you definitely want to go out and get Black Woman's Guide. And it's like, are you pushing your books? Yeah. <laughs> I am because knowledge is power and we need to be empowered. So we're going to get on those books later on. Everyone's guy. Well, you can go on my book, on my website at lisaxbeard.com. I talk a lot about my book. This weekend, if you are in Memphis, Tennessee, I will be 
here doing a round table discussion on our hair the natural way that's what it's called you can go on my website and register I'm uber excited about it and then I'm going to work with women this this uh, group is called naturals in the city and I am actually going to go and speak around 3.30 at their event right after. I'm going to have a busy Saturday, <laughs> to say the least. Pray for me, for strength. I have to make sure I have a big green smoothie that morning. Anyways, <laughs> Naturals in the City, I'm, their event is actually from 10 until um, 10 until 7. They've got a lot of, a lot of things going on. I'm so excited about being involved with... Um, the folks over there it's just really 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 a blessing so we i want you all you're in the city i'm going to stream um you stream i'm going to stream live my round table discussion so if you like mine is at 1 p.m and go on the site and register if you want an email if you want me to stream i'm going to do it by demand so if you really want me to stream please go to my website lisaackberry.com and register Click on the uh, round table discussion. There will be a little pop-up and you'll see. Click on that and register so that you can um, partake. Partake through cyberspace. Or you can come out and sit with me. And maybe you'll be on the round table because we're going to choose a few people from the audience as well. It's going to be a great time. And we can have up to 100 people in the in our theater area in, the, in our institute. And... Then we can have several people on the stage with, uh, we, we can accommodate several people on the stage in the round table. All right, super duper. Okay, let's get to some of these questions. Alrighty, where are we? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of go back because I have so many questions from people who have asked questions after I left that particular video. And I'm usually just kind of addressing the ones in the current video, but I will go back today a little bit. We have about 15 minutes. Let's see how many I can get in. It says, I totally agree. This one was uh, on our last video, uh, Beauty Salon Visits, What Are the Three Golden Rules? What are the three golden rules? Never be aggressive. That's rule one. Rule two, never be passive. And rule three, always be assertive. You gotta remember that in everything you do within your salon business. Assert yourself, you're not gonna put your head in there and sit your body on the outside window and look at you and go, let me know when you're finished. Uh-uh, you're not gonna wait till you leave and be upset. You're going to stay involved. For those of you who go, many of you don't, so you do things at home. I totally want, one, these are comments, I totally agree I always went to the salon extra early and tipped and tipped very well. I'm natural now, so it is rare that I go, but I agree you're late, uh, send a card, etc. All great advice and great video. Lots of love and hugs. Mm, hugs to you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you back. Okay. If this one says, can you please explain to me? <laughs> This 4A, 4B, 5C, 3QVC, it sounds like Home Shopping Network, Network, 33, 1, 2, 3, I think she, hmm, I don't know what some of that is. Everyone is talking about, I don't understand it, and I just sounds, ooh, okay, mm -mm. wow, every time I hear, hear it, okay, she's not pleased with all of these, I'm going to tell you, I don't, believe in it either only let me just say this terminology varies there's a language that the natural hair community can understand and it works and I think that anytime that you can speak in a language that will bless others and they can understand I think it's okay I look at our hair as kinky uh, slight degree medium degree extreme degree and some in between. So I don't really view it with those numbers. I think that started with Andre Oprah Stylist and his book. So I think that's where those those came from. But if it's a language you can understand, then it's so cool. I'm so proud. 
So just chill. Don't worry about it. Just It's not for you. Don't use it. Okay, next one says, God made our hair and God makes no mistakes. Woo! Yes, thumbs up. Right. That's in that statement. I, I agree and I say it all the time. Okay, it says, hi, Dr. Craig. Excellent tips. I'm going to research this, but do you know if there are certificates uh, one must have to render natural hair care services such as loctician? Finding a really good stylist and or a cosmetologist is like searching for a needle in a haystack, especially one willing to work with a natural hair and not all to it. I'm telling you right now, when you go in my book, I'm, I have a list of things you need to look for, and you're just going to have to take your time. Now, use your YouTube videos right now and learn some things from the YouTube videos and be careful. Go on my website, I email me, ask me a question. We can do some phone counseling by phone. I will help you, but take your time, and until you find one, you have to remember they need to understand your hair first you got to go to someone who, has, who works with natural hair and I know it's hard but you have it's gonna get easier there's a fierce fierce movement first there was a, a a consistent but small movement it's like um a snowball I mean it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger so I can assure you I can assure you because I'm gonna open uh, work with an investor and open a natural hair salon and help some folks who want to open natural hair salons. So I'm going to myself because I will refuse to let all these open and not be involved because I think that it's important that it's done a certain way. So national, if you want me in your city and state and you have, um, we're going to do the research anyway to see where all the, our earth mamas I call us, <laughs> natural beauties. See, I said wasn't going to touch my hair. Okay. You notice today I have like definition in my curl pattern. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to do some of that a little bit more. Normally my favorite style on earth is a frizzy fro. And that's what I know. I call it frizzy fro. I have more of that over here. But more definition here. And so I'm going to do a little bit more of that and show you some defined areas. Because my hair is getting so long. So when I do the, the de define. Now I sure assure you. I still did not put on my head more than eight twists at night. <laughs> it's not like I did about twi uh, 20, what do y'all do, 20, 50 twists, Ooh, no. I only did about eight of them because <laughs> that's just way too much, no. And you can manipulate your hair without doing all that. But anyways, enough of that, let's go back to the questions. It says, I have that, okay? So keep up the good work, loves and blessings, and that's good. Okay, and it says, love you and your show. Mm, love you back. Okay, now let's go on to another one. And we're going to go back to the one uh, about you, just the question page. And we're just going to look at the video right before the beauty salon. And this one says, do you have questions about your hair, your natural hair? And this is the one where I had my big fro. That my big fro. Okay. It says, hi, I enjoyed your videos, but I always have problems with the sound. I know, someone said that. But, okay, I'm going to speak louder. But really, I had to put a speaker on my computer because I just didn't have good sound on my regular uh, desktop. Even my laptop. If I put a speaker, I can hear, hmm, the noise is really good. Okay, can you please speak a little? Uh, your voice is so soft. Is it? Ooh, I thought I had a big mouth. Okay. I love listening to you on my earbuds. Okay, she said that works. Okay, that helps. Okay, I realize it is my personal problem, but you thought, I thought I would ask. Oh, no, no, I want to know if you guys can hear me or it's no, that's my, I need to do better as well. But I just let you know the earbuds are great. That works for me on the laptop, and the speaker uh, works on my desktop. Okay, it's the next one. So let me know if there's something I can do to make things better. What's your advice for people whose who hair grows slow? Less than three inches in eight month, months. Okay, what we need to do is mark the hair to make sure it's growing slow. So what you do, and this is not something, you may have to have a professional do it for you. And the way you mark your hair, and this is just a simple way, 
is you get a permanent color if you have dark hair and you mark your hair with a permanent color that can remove dark pigments right at the scalp and then you let you watch the line as it grows out and that's going to give you an idea of how fast your hair is growing what I notice with most patients who tell me that their hair is not growing much they have very consistent growth lines the follicle appears to be from the external and it's very difficult to say what's happening internal from a microscope um, but it appears to be growing at a, at a good rate it's usually breakage what happens and when I don't deep condition and believe me I don't deep condition like I should uh, yeah I admit it and I say that because I'm always looking at okay first really busy and then I'm always looking at um, how the hair is going to respond because I'm always treating my ends every night well, what difference I mean should deep conditioning I have the questions that you have I answer them I go under the microscope I do the science I do all that so that I can be honest with you usually when you are not grow you think you're not growing hair you just not obtaining length I'm not spending my words you probably you got to work on the shaft you got a deep condition you got to and every night when you twist your you got to dress your hair for bed some people still are not doing that and every night you need to make sure that your hair ends are getting lubricated so you're smoothing and you're smoothing moisturizer in those ends and those ends are protected every night okay push you back in there because you will hang over and I'll have an asymmetric boogie. Okay, so yeah, it's usually your ends, but do the, mark the hair. Let's see what's happening so you can measure from scalp growth. So you know if, whether you're breaking or you're just not obtaining length. You may be growing and not obtaining length. Okay, next question. Dr. Uh, Agri recently has been a, a craze about using on set seven. That's pretty old. Uh, I will say that because I know where you're going with that. No, it does not help your hair. Uh, yeast on the scalp. Some people have said that it helps with that. And in many cases, if there's some yeast or problems, disorders, or diseases of the scalp, then it causes a problem with the way the hair emerges. Also, if you have problems with inflammation on the scalp, and some, some will say that works. I don't recommend it. There are so many natural things that you can do in lieu of that but if you believe that you need something like a monostat or anything that's going to help with these kinds of problems I think that you should go see your dermatologist have a culture done to see if that's the case if there's something there negative bacteria growing on the scalp that's the safest way they have medication for that this is not natural so why go to it when you're not sure okay next question I have noticed that I have to turn up the volume. I know. Happy birthday month. Woo! And it's almost over. Happy birthday month. We're on the 26th. But yeah, I know about the volume. Yeah, just just put that speaker in there. I'm telling you, it works. And I have to do it with some videos. I don't know. I'm going to speak a little louder. I have a pretty decent uh, camera. I think it's Logitech. And, um, yeah, but just keep me posted on that, guys. Okay, it says, what could I do about my hair shedding every time I comb my hair? And I do use the right size wide tooth comb or finger comb. It's, it seems to be a sink full of hair. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, or strands in the comb. Uh, no. Slow down. You are not to have strands in your comb like that and a sink full of hair. First, you have to remember that when you're combing your hair, you have to ask yourself with natural hair why. I never comb my hair because I just don't have to. I use my fingers and my thumb, and you've seen me do this, and I'm finger, fingers, and thumb, forefinger and thumb, and then human comb, slide it in, and if I get to a kink, see, I come out, I finger, thumb, finger, thumb, and then I slide back in so I can go straight through. And then I don't have hair. See? No hair. And you, you're just going to have to do this different. Go on my website at leafagbeer.com 
and I have a full video on that and it's on YouTube but you can find it easier on my website under my natural hair page yeah no do not pull your hair it says happy happy birthday I like these happy birthday readings because I'm a big I'm really a birthday girl I, I love birthdays <laughs> with my children I had birthday when they were little we had birthday months when they were younger and we had birthday months and then we had birthday weeks and now we have birthdays but I really really love celebrating birthdays I think it's a blessing um, for every day you can be on this earth I just believe we need to do things with it um, so that's just what I believe okay her question what do you think about oils for the hair I have tried various oils sealing moisture in and I have found a few that does not seem to work for instance I was using castor oil or hobo oil but I found that the oils get hard and grow uh, slowly I say it gets hard and it gets hard and grow slowly to no growth with castor oil and then the hair seems to feel brittle with a hobo are these oils penetrating okay number one you need to make sure that you have your, your hair is clarified and you need to understand that uh, because they won't penetrate if you have a buildup. Castor oil is a little bit dense. A hoba is like the best. It's the closest to skin oil that I find found that on with the hair. So it definitely lubricates, but it's very very fine. So it's not going to. Um, it's going to seal. It's going to give some shine, but it's not going to be as dense. So if you want a dense oil, something that really kind of holds the hair in place or gives definition or keeps that cuticle flat then you, you uh, a hoba may not be the one. I use uh, some others. Um, my oil sheen in a jar is great for that. Um, I would say the reason why you feel feel like your hair is brittle is because oil is not going to hydrate. Oil can seal in moisture, but moisture has to be there. has to be there first. So you need to make sure that your hair is hydrated before you put oils on. So clarify, make sure your hair is hydrated, Put the oil on while the hair is wet, and then twist it in overnight, and you'll be fine. Try that. Let me know. It says, happy birthday, Karen. Love you. Welcome back. Missed you. I miss you guys always when I'm not here. I may God bless you and many more. It says, my hair is really growing. Thank you. Oh, now see, this is somebody who's been listening to me. I'm so proud of you. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have, and then we'll go on to know. Love, love, love your show love 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 you <laughs> it is such a blessing to me knowledge is power so most certainly it is you and you certainly give it out a lot you give us a lot of it waiting for your trip to LA yay I'm coming to LA I love your weather I said I'm speaking I'm speaking it you speaking it yes speak it pray for me so that I can get this tour together because I want to come out there um, to the different cities and I want to do this. This is 2013 and I it, I should have it already planned but I really don't but I really want you guys to pray for me. We're getting close to the end. I'm going to get another question in and then we're going to start with questions again next week. It says how do you restore hair loss from traction alopecia aside from continuous changing of your hairstyle? Traction means it's a stress on the follicle and it's pulled and you may have destroyed the follicle if the inflammation occurred or the scarring is there. Who we don't know. You need to have an examination. Find a trichologist, one that uses a handheld microscope. If you're anywhere near me in Memphis, Tennessee, I'll come by if you have people who fly in from everywhere. We have a, a huge facility. We'll take great care of you if you can come by, but try and find a trichologist, one that uses a handheld microscope. And then definitely you want to stop doing the styles. Give the follicle the styles that pull the hair. Give the follicle a chance to rest and see if it repairs itself. Okay, guys. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> We're out of time. Oh, my goodness. I love you. Keep those questions coming. To God be the glory in Jesus. And make sure that you're here. Go to my website, lisaangbear.com. I'm going to look for you. I'm going to be disappointed next week if you guys are not registering to do a cyber sit in on my um, round table discussion because I know you have something to say I know people have something to say 
and you want to hear what we have to say. I love you. <laughs> to God be glory in Jesus. I'll see you next week right here on Ask the Air Doctor.